Hey well guys, it's Fisher and welcome back to some more of Rome 2 Total War. Basically, we last left off, we fought for Pella, which was uh, a really, really good battle. We managed to push them back. Unfortunately, uh, the battle you saw was not the actual battle in this campaign save right now. Because basically what happened was, when I was doing the Nomadics Tribes DLC overview, I actually accidentally oversaved on my latest... Uh, save game for this campaign so I had to revert back to the previous save and the previous save was just before I fought the battle of Pella and the other stuff I did in the last episode so what I did was um, I actually hired some mercenaries so I guess it's kind of cheating uh, I hired some mercenaries uh, to help me win the battle and we we fought a lot better like it was a lot easier to win that battle with the mercenaries I guess um, so, in a sense I cheated, but uh, it wasn't my fault, so I had to fight the battle again, so I thought why not take less casualties. So yeah, the situation right now is, oh I'm probably going to turn that music down a little bit, because it's a little bit loud in my headset. Um, yeah, so the situation right now is, the Athenians are actually besieging Pella now. Um, and I'm scared of where the Spartan armies are, because the Spartan armies will come up I'm pretty sure, if they're around here. Or if they're, I don't know where they could be, but they're, they're going to be here somewhere, which is really scary, because I don't want to have to fight the Athenians and the Spartans. So my thinking is that I'm going to push forward and just try and kill the Athenian armies right out now. Because if I attack them now, I have to fight this army, and do I have to fight that fleet? No, I don't have to fight the fleet, so I can kill, well hopefully, I can kill both of these units straight away. Um, and if I do win this battle, then that means I can then recruit and retrain and buy some mercenaries to help me fight off the Spartan and attack if it does come. So that's going to be the plan. Oh, it's a quick save button. Did not know that. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to push out, we're going to fight these. Also, after I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm thinking I'm going to push forward with this army and take try and kill this Macedonian army because this Macedonian army is stopping me from doing anything. And as you can see, they, do, they don't have that great troops and they are quite, so they are suffering a lot of attrition, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move up my spy I have, uh, well next turn I'm going to move my spy up, but just to check out that army, because I feel like I need to get rid of that army, because once I get rid of that army, this, the uh, whatever legion, the first legion is allowed to move freely wherever they want, because I don't have to be worried from attacks from the north, which is fine, I think we have a non-aggression pack with these dudes, so yeah, that's really the plan, is to kill this army, kill that army, and then try and hold off the Spartans whilst I retrain. Because, as you can see, I mean, I've got the 5th Legion there building up a nice army. I've got the 2nd retraining over here. So, yeah, like, it just I just need time, basically. Time to regather my strengths and then destroy them. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump in and fight this battle. Because there's, I'm pretty sure... Because, what, this is the, my 1500 versus their 3000. So that's fine. That's 2 to 1 odds. If the Spartan armies were going to come up, that would probably be around about 2 stacks. So that's another 3000 men I have to fight. That's what odds, obviously, dust double. 1 to 4 odds of me. Uh, so my men have to kill 4 to losing 1, basically, I guess. Which would make the battle a lot harder. Because... You know, obviously there's a lot more men to kill, and they'll just overwhelm me with their, sh their just sheer numbers. Which is something I would not be able to hold off. But the looks of it as well, we have some sort of like river or road or whatever. Okay cool, it's dry, that's fine. I should probably try and wait till... It looked like a river, I guess it was just a road on the map. But we have a nice hill as well, meaning we can bombard the enemy with our ballistae. So yeah, cool, let's get the ballistae ready to shoot. I'm probably going to stick them back a little bit, just because I, I want to kind of sit on this hill and not really push forward so let's go ahead and do the the bad boy roman formation with my my weakest troops on the front line even though i don't really have enough men to do that when i have like a proper legion what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna obviously have my least experienced men on the front line then the, them just going back in experience so you know that's what the proper roman army did so it must be good oh i haven't seen veteran legionaries yet either what do they look like they look pretty badass with their spears they look very cool. I assume they then whip out, do they have gladiuses? They might have gladiuses, who knows. Square. Their square formation as well looks pretty cool. And their defense, defensive test shoot. Okay, they look pretty cool. Okay, cool, let's leave them back like that. Okay, so let's actually form up after I've stopped admiring my men. So, what well, I'm probably going to use... I'm probably... Oh, didn't select them all, that probably would be useful. 
I'm going to use that set of rocks for like a flanking bit of cover so that I can't get outflanked as badly. But then I'm, putting, I'm putting my these legionaries on the second row just because they're quite depleted. I don't want to lose a unit completely. Mercenaries can go on that flank with their cavers. Uh, general obviously there. My equites, do I, how much cav do they have on this flank? That's a question. They have quite a lot of cav, that's what's scaring me. They outnumber me massively by cav. Which is something I could really do. I guess I'm just going to have to target them with my blister. So let's start hitting their cav. I'm scared with their reinforcements, what direction their reinforcements are going to come in. But it looks like they haven't actually come in yet, which is good. Well, oh, there they are. Okay, they're coming from that direction, which isn't that bad. <laughs> Cheer, you miserable lot. Okay, cool. So, it looks like they might just be reforming with everyone. My ballistae are shooting off, which is good. We're probably going to get a few pot shots off. I just want to reduce the amount of cavalry they have, which is probably not the most efficient thing I could be doing. Like, I might as well be hitting their bigger bulks of cavalry. But yeah, we have a nice defensive hill, which is really good. And because their cav is on the move as well, it's probably just really dumb. So let's go ahead and focus the cav which isn't on the move, I guess. That would be a lot smarter of me. I wonder if I can bait out this cav to charge me. That'd be really nice if I could. That's two units of cav I could kill. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to move my cav over here and try and bait out their cav to charge me. Oh, we got some nice shots off from their general. Killed three or seven men there. That was really nice. As long as we can keep it up. I'm going to move up these veteran legionaries as well. Hopefully I can get the, these dudes to charge me. If I charge them, maybe they'll chase me. Rapid advance. Oh, these dudes have rapid advance as well. Hopefully we can definitely catch them. So just hit them a little bit. Now we run. Now we run. And these veteran legionaries should hopefully come in. Come on, get out, boys. Get out, get out, get out. Yeah, the majority of them are getting out, which is really good. I'm also going to move over these legionaries as well. Because, yeah, I'm going to get that's going to happen. Meaning I'm going to have to probably charge them. I'm going to lose my ballista as well. But I, I, I kind of can't defend these. They just have they, the sheer amount of cab they actually have is just too much. Uh, oh yeah, I could charge these dudes into their, their cab they're throwing in. Infantry wise, they're kind of all split up. We are pounding their general though. He is a lot lower than expected. And a lot of their infantry, a lot of their men are just normal hoplites and missiles. And I don't really want to get shot to death, so I'm actually just going to push forward. I don't see why, why I shouldn't push forward. Considering... Yeah, considering the majority of my men are a lot weaker than my stats. So let's go ahead and get everyone. And just push forward the line. I've got my cav selected. I don't want to do that. And the last veteran legionary. So they're charging into them. Kind of want to be careful because of all that. But I can actually use my cav to try and kill the peltists. And it's going to it's gonna hold up these light hoplites as well. Which is really good. Um, I kind of need to move these legionaries up to defend my cav. Inspire... I can't really inspire anyone right now. But that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, let's play it again. Hoplites are going to clash into these. this cav. This cav should not stand a chance because it's spear cav as well. So it's not even shot cav. These dudes need to come down and help them. My general needs to move up though. So yeah, now this has just become a massive clusterfuck. Their cav should not really stand a chance though. Yeah, we managed to do hit them, which is really nice. I actually want to kind of move, move my general down there. Ballista, I just hit these men. They're going to get killed in a second, but that's fine. Inspire, who's getting fucked? We inspire them dudes and then move back up here. Keep on pushing these men forward. We should be able to just destroy their general. I need to move my general back as well because he's getting pounded. Look at all their horses running off. 
That's funny. The enemy general is dead. That's lovely, Ballistae. My right flank is getting destroyed by my legionaries are holding their own. Which hopefully they can just continue to do. They're doing some devastating shots, which is really nice. Hold your ground, then. I'm going to go ahead and move that unit over there just to try and help them out because yeah we're gonna get outflanked any second now so yeah we kind of have to do that if I, they're about to get destroyed as well which is really not good how whereabouts is this veteran yeah this veteran is just going over there we're about to kill their cab over here though hopefully and they yeah we've killed all their cab which is nice that was really good they actually charged in their men though but again we are pushing them back over here which we should, it's just the majority, I don't have enough cav to kill their missiles, which is really hurting me. Inspire again, who's look, who's not looking too shady? Everyone's looking good, apart from this unit over here. Let's go ahead and inspire that unit. They should be a lot happier now, they should be able to hold their own fight a lot better. Yeah, we just need to break this centre, if we can break this centre then that's perfect. Yeah, that's not good at all. Fuck, fuck. That was really nice by the AI. They just have too many men. We need to bring more men back to help my general out. Because these are only missile cavs, so this cav should not really stand up. My general can probably fight, fight his own here. As long as he's just not the unlucky one to die. Which I'm kind of really scared he is. I'm actually just pull him out. I don't want to risk it, really. But hopefully these hoplites can hold their own and kill the cav. Yeah, I'm bringing him out. I need that Inspire ability. I really need the Inspire ability. Uh, Inspire ability very soon. Cool, if we route these dudes, that's perfect. We can then help the rest of our flanks. We are winning. Actually, winning over here. The vet, well, and we haven't really got many men left. But we do. I'm going to use a whip on these dudes just to hopefully push them open. Try to do that one last like massive push. We managed to route them over here, which is good. I'm actually going to go support my men down there. This flank is actually one as well. So we can just hopefully just push forward. I'm actually going to use a whip on everyone. Everyone there, just to hopefully do that one massive push and just destroy them. Inspire these dudes. Yeah, I'm just to try to do that one big push. I'm actually going to move these this cav right around the side as well. I mean, this these uh, hoplites right around the side. Uh, get back on your ballista as well. Because if I can, these guys, oh, these guys don't even have rapid advance. We're going to try and chase down some of their missiles. Hopefully, if you use a whip, is not going to wear off before we push them back. Because, yeah, we are destroying them. Like, we are pushing them back really hard. And I guess I should have really have done this a while ago. Is move a unit round. That should hopefully, oh, I wonder if I can actually click on them. Yeah, that should hopefully destroy their morale. Our center should just annihilate them. I'm proud of these men down here. They have done really, really well. What are we looking at? The men are wavering. That's not good. Who's wavering? Oh, what did I just click? No, oh, men down here. That's not surprising. They have been fighting. They do need relief, but I can't really give it to them right now. Yeah, they're going to rout, but I can't really stop it. Oh my god, why is everyone routing? That's not good. Inspire, come on. Please come back. Please come back. It's because they're exhausted now, that one push. Our men flee the field of battle. I kind of... Shameful display. I kind of tried to do that, like, one big old push, and it didn't really pay off. Now everyone's exhausted and actually losing, which is not good. An entire unit has perished. That is not good. But at least they're holding off there, though. I'm going to have to use my general to try and destroy these units, just to try and smash into the side of them or something, just to make them rout. Come on, general, let's go. Our men flee the field of That's battle. not good. This is a okay, general smash into the side of them. Hopefully my general can do some kind of morale shock, because he needs to really badly. How are these hoplites getting destroyed by them? My general is actually trying to make some, making a few of them route, which is good. That's going to hurt me, though. I honestly don't understand how these hoplites are losing to Peltis. I've got Inspire very, very soon as well. But the majority of these men here are all green, which is really good. 
Our general has fallen. Yeah, well, I had to. If he didn't go in there, I think he would have died. In all fairness. So we finally made them. Hopefully we can make the rest of their missiles. Okay, cool. Even though our general is dead, a lot of them, yeah, they've, 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 their entire center is routing. Their entire army is routing. I, I think if I didn't push my general in there, I wouldn't have been able to make these routes. So that's just really, really lucky that he did. He he died a noble cause. Without him, I don't think we would have won the battle. In all honesty, I really do not think we would have won that battle. Just solely because we would not like they would not have routed. I think they would have just held their ground to the very end. So it's kind of it's kind of annoying that he died, but I don't think without if he did not sacrifice his life for that, he would not. We would not have won that battle. Because that was fucking a very close battle. That could have gone either way. I think me using the whip was a bad decision. I thought I could have... Because some of their units were actually starting to waver. I thought I could have used that ability just to, like, push push home my dick, like my advantage. But it really just hurt me in the long run. Which was not, not clever. Uh, we need to try and stop this unit from getting out. The battle is turning in our favour. Yeah, there you go. I'm just going to speed things up now because the battle is definitely won. Oh, no. Try and chase down some of their men. But my men definitely fought hard, a hard, hard battle there. We need to recruit some mercenaries and recruit as many men as possible here just to just to try and survive. Because if the Spartans come back and try and attack me, then it's going to be very, very hard. I can just throw away my general here as well. It doesn't really matter. Because he's dead either way. But yeah, I am proud of the you, men. You fought a strong, you fought a very, very nice battle. Look at all the dead as well. So many dead. An entire unit has perished. Yeah, well, he deserves it. All their cav as well. That's what kind of threw me off as well. They had the complete maneuverability on me in that battle because they could just do whatever they really wanted to. Cause they just had what was superior numbers and superior cav. I couldn't really. I can't really chase down their, their missiles. So I kind of threw, again, I kind of threw away my cav. I'm really kind of underestimating my cav, which is like, something I shouldn't be doing. I should just kind of throw them away, which is yeah, not not too good of me. But yeah, as you can see, victory is ours. And then they route. Cool. So let's go ahead and end that battle. Yeah, end the battle. Costly that was a costly victory. So yeah, we lost 1,200. They lost 2,800. So that yeah, that, that definitely pushes the Athenians on the back foot. But they have they have still have so many men to come back at me with, which is really scary. Uh, yeah, look at these men. They just they killed high numbers, which I'm really happy with. All gave them good experiences. It's a shame my general died. It really is. But he died. He definitely died in noble cause. Uh, we'll kill everyone. A noble death. It was a noble death. And their armies go routing back to fucking Athens. So yeah, now we need to get a new general. I really want someone of my house. Julii. Yeah, he's fucking good in battle as well. Holy crap. Yeah, he's going to be... I kind of want to stick him as a veteran legion, but I don't because it's just stupid. He'll be on horseback. Okay, cool. So now the siege has been lifting, meaning we can actually recruit some men. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna recruit two units of legionaries and then one unit of veteran and then some velites. We we really do lack missiles in our army. Like we we really lack missiles in our army. So we'll do that also in case they besiege us next turn straight away. I'm also gonna recruit some mercenaries as well, just in case because I don't want to be caught off guard and having no men. So if worst comes to worst, we can always just sell them back, which is fine. But yeah, we're gonna do that just because I don't want to risk it. Like I just do not do not want to risk it. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and attack this Macedonian army then. Even though it's gonna make these people fucking unhappy when I leave them. But if I kill the Macedonian army, then that's just really, really good for me. We can't even reach them in one day. Then we're just going to sit here for a little bit longer. I don't think I have to really... Oh, I really want to kill that army, but every, everywhere is just so unhappy. Kind of have to recruit a few more men here as well. I wish I can't because it's in the same area as Pella. And I'm already using all my recruitment slots there. 
Uh, Miss Legion, Heavy Legion, Zeris, First Cohort, Second Cohort, Praetorians, Mounted Sword Legionaries. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get some Heavy Legionaries and some Cav. I need that strong Cav. Also, I can need to recruit some Archers as well. If you're wondering what all these units are, I'm actually using a mod, uh, which is not letting me go down. There we are. I can just use mouse button. Yeah, I'm using a mod, which actually gives me... Uh, it's the radius mod, it's the top mod on the community thing, it just adds a load more units, a load more economy, it's just pretty, it's an awesome mod, which I'm having fun, and until Romus Bellium comes out, then I'm going to be playing this a lot, so yeah, let's go and get some archers as well, I kind of just rinse through all my money as well. So let's end the turn, see what the Athenians and Spartans do, they'll probably charge me at Pella again, which they do, they have a big old army, and I really have nothing to defend that with. My god, and the Macedonians came as well. Crap. I really don't think I can defend this. I don't think there's even a point me trying. I have 800 men against that many. There's just no way. The Spartans aren't even that like, bad units as well. <laughs> Any hope for me to do that? No. I think this Pell is just lost, really. But then again, I do have walls and... Uh, I don't know whether to try and do this. Yeah, we'll just do that. I mean, we've lost that, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was a pointless fight. I guess that, I guess that was my tactical area, not to try go for that Macedonian army. Because I knew the Spartans would come up and the Macedonians actually helped them out there, which was really bad for me. We just need to build a load more men. We, that's what we're lacking. That's what we're getting wrecked by. It's just we get, we we're outnumbered in battle. I am Flinching Master. We'll burn your city. Who the fuck are you? Come. Why are you your fighting villages. me? You will die, come. but I'm not gonna. When I win the war against them, I don't want to take their land, so I'm just gonna loot it. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do scorched earth policy all over their lands. I'm gonna rape their wives. I'm gonna kill their children. That's a price they have to pay for declaring war on Rome. Really. I feel sorry for them, that's all I've got to say. We have war. <coughs> the Lord is ready and the peace is in place. Whoa! Is everyone's declaring else. war on me. That's fine, I don't care. I will take everyone on. Just mass recruitment needs to happen next turn, I guess. Lego 4 is dead, Pedro has been destroyed. That's fine. Okay, cool. Let's start the mass recruitment, then. They do indeed. So let's recruit as many as fucking possible. So who got that? The Sparta get Pella now, which is kind of funny. Macedonian army there. Uh, this army kind of needs to start carry on like moving, like moving down, because it can still recruit as whatever they want. Because I've still got the best barracks and stuff here. Yeah, so I've still got the best barracks here. Because the thing you can do is you can move them pretty much, because once you get into recruiting mode, you can't actually recruit any more men, so you might as well, you can't actually move, so you might as well bring down as many as possible before, uh, before we're actually recruiting it, so you might as well move the army as far as possible. I also do need to get some siege equipment as well. Cool, go get some archers there, that's nice. How's Carthage looking? We, this legion could be extremely like useful. Almost happy, which is nice. Uh, the other legions... As you can see now, I lost that, that legion as well, the fourth. <laughs> How much money I can get. So yeah, we're just mass recruiting. So many men. Still can't fucking do it. How many more turns? There's not even a military base here. That cannot happen. This can be getting destroyed. We need to get a military base there in that province because at the time I just need to recruit as many men as possible. Oh, my spy's going up there as well. I forgot about that. I need to recruit more agents as well just to clear out because they just have so many. We just need to kill their agents and they're just affecting my army, which is not good. They're killing my army. So I think next turn as well we're going to have to recruit some agents to hopefully try and kill their men. Because at the moment their agents are just wrecking me. See all the battles around Pella as well. Which is now Spartan occupied. Which is hilarious. Oh, what I should do is, oh, I don't even have an, if I had, I was wondering how funny it would be if I had the ally up in the north just to come down with all the barbarian hordes and help me. We live for battle. Who we the dream of it. fuck even we are you? Why would you declare war on me? And you look plump. Everyone's just hating on me at the moment. 
which is not, which is fine. It means we just have to recruit a load of men. But you know, whatever. Okay, yeah, that that army can die really easily. I just need to kill it. Uh, we are not doing that, are we? No. Oh, yeah, did she do it? She leveled up, but... Uh, let's do that collaboration. Hopefully I can get all the spies on my side. That place should be destroyed now. Meaning I can then build a barracks, which is good. Two more turns of that. This army is looking very, very strong. But let's continue the building of it. Uh, we also need to... This army is going to be strong as hell. We need to build some artillery. What other artillery do we have? Just normal catapults. These ones are so much better. So two of them and some missiles. And then I actually kind of want to get a bit more cav as well. Just to kill the amount of their, the enemy missiles. Rome is not looking happy. Which is unfortunate. I also need to build another army just to defend my northern borders as well. So let's go ahead and raise another force. Let's raise the, this legion again. At your command. And they can just get some normal legionaries to start off. If I can find them, there you go. It's four of them just to start it's off. A good life. It is a good life indeed, my fellow man. Uh, we also need to recruit some agents as well. We'll get a champion as well, who's best. They're all pretty much as shit as each other. How can I serve Rome? You can serve Rome by being a lad. You are indeed, my fellow man. Well, let's end turn again because there's not much we can really do. We're just building up big old armies just to hold back the hordes. The Spartans will probably push forward at some point, I'm thinking. With their million fucking agents. We just need agents. I kind of neglected agents a lot. I, I guess I shouldn't have really. But that's fine. I'm late to the party, but it'll be good. All the factions who have declared war on me as well. I'm going to take Greece and Macedon out and hold them lands as Roman. The other factions up in the east and up in the north, I'm just going to go over and burn their lands. I'm going to slaughter just everyone I find. I'm going to loot their cities and just make sure they know that they shouldn't declare war on me. I'm well, maybe the factions to the north who declare war, I might just make them like a vassal, like might, I might just vassalize them. Oh, he died. It's probably so. Oh my god, it's probably the douchebags keep on assassinating me. I'm gonna run out of people in my house soon. House Junai, but yeah, I don't actually have anyone, so I might as well just pick the best dude. He's good. So he's defending that army now. How can I? Can I assassinate? Really bad chance. What about manipulation? I might. Because, yeah, you see how much I'm getting wrecked. Did I just lose my champion as well? Apollonia as well is getting... What the hell? I have to repair all of these before, like, riots or something. My military base is almost built next turn as well. Let's recruit some people over here as well. Because maybe they won't get killed by all their, <laughs> all their agents. Also recruit a champion over here. I can't because I already have a maximum. Oh, where's my champion still alive? Where is he if he's still alive? Oh, there's one there. Yeah, so where's my other champion? Commander. He's not in this army. One there and... Huh, how do I look at my unit tab? I do that, don't I? Yeah, I've got one there, so where's the other one? Don't know why. Maybe I'm, oh, maybe I'm only allowed two agents. Maybe that's it. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, cool. So this, this army is actually looking very, very tasty at the moment. I'm pretty sure they can hold off anything the enemy throw 